Benjamin Netanyahu may have said to Rishi Sunak and the world uh, that Israel has never been more united. Uh, certainly under him, Israel has never been more united. But uh, there's growing evidence of quite a large number of Israelis who have been arrested. A uh, hundred Israelis so far have been arrested for social media posts and uh, supporting Palestinians in Gaza. Seventy of these remain in detention, according to a legal advocacy group uh, called Adala, which represents Arab Israelis in human rights cases. And the arrests are part of an extraordinary crackdown on freedom of expression. Uh, one of the lawyers there, uh, Adi Mansour, says we're seeing things we didn't see before. There's a change in the perception of what is allowed and what is prevented. And police have arrested oh, a extraordinary people like uh, Dalal Abu Abne, a prominent Israeli-Palestinian singer, for incitement in her social media group simply for posting a Palestinian flag with the caption, there is no victor but God. Um other people have been uh, arrested for posting verses from the Quran, prayers for the people of Gaza and politicians. Uh, so far, nobody has actually been prosecuted or, um, or, or, or charged, but the police have held them in detention for several days. And, um, you know, in, in all cases, these people have their phones taken uh there's um you, you know is this incitement or is this not is this incitement or is this discussion um and it seems an extraordinary uh, perversion of liberty and so uh, there's also um People are being punished for posting pictures of celebration on the same day as the 7th of October. Uh, again, it seems extraordinary. So it, 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 it's important to recognize that there isn't one single view going on here. There's a variety of views and... Uh, once again, this this idea, the first casualty of war, is truth. This is the Aeschylus line, all the way back to ancient Greece. Uh, that's not necessarily what we're seeing. The first casualty of war is freedom, and that's a that that's a bigger issue. Truth, truth is an elusive concept. What I regard as true today, tomorrow I will. I, I will probably change. Um, truth changes. Freedom, freedom to think about that, freedom to debate that, freedom to post, that's a different matter. And what we say on social media, what we say on the internet, is not necessarily a fact. It's a it, 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 it's a grabbing for information. It's a grabbing for facts. We don't have all the facts. How can we? If even governments don't have all the facts, how can we, as um, as, as ordinary human beings, how can we have all the facts? We can we can look at contrasting news reports. We can look at news in different countries, but it doesn't give us the facts. It does give us a better picture of how people are thinking. But it doesn't give us the facts. Now, of course, in a war situation, countries clamp down on what is being said. And this is, of course, what we're seeing in Israel now. And that is frightening to see that in the, in the uh, 21st century. It's frightening to see it in Ukraine and in Russia. But we are. That's what we're seeing.